Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today we're going to be blasting Gravehammer Voices from the Grave. This is the Malaysian Gravehammer on Necrolatry Records. And yes, I am we wearing one of the new Accursed Womb t-shirts, which are available on our band camp. Today, you can buy a t-shirt and it will come with a free CD copy of our original promo tape. It's pretty badass, actually. Like, And the second press of the CD version of the compilation is up and available now. It's also different than the last one. Super, super nice. But here we have four tracks of HM2-infused death metal. Again, this is nothing you haven't heard before if you've listened to Entombed and the obvious suspects that go with that, but Gravehammer, I don't know, there's something about this band that, although, you know, it's nothing new and it's nothing that I honestly would really go out of my way to pick up, because as I went over a couple videos again with that Coffin Mulch band like as much as I really like that release there's still at times I'm like I'd rather be listening to Entombed and I still get the feeling here but vocally it's just something completely different and that's what makes it kind of stand out a little bit from the others but for the most part this is straight up Swedish influence buzzsaw death metal but the way Gravehammer looks at it, it's a little bit different than everybody else. And that's what I like about it. So check it out. Again, it's the vocalist and the drummer. That's why I can actually enjoy this. It's the same with Coffin Mulch. They had a different sounding vocalist than every other HM2 worshipping band. Fucking A. Alright, I figured it out. The HM2 stuff, it's still gonna sound Swedish, but to make it stand out you need yeah you need somebody with vocals that are kind of out there and not your typical like yeah fucking A alright I figured out what type of HM2 infused death metal I like when it comes to the modern age of death metal and I'm guessing it just involves having a gnarly drummer and a sick vocalist. But you have tracks like The Grave Hammer, Force of Darkness, Horrible Prophecies, and Darkness Plague the World. And as a two-piece, Grave Hammer sound pretty fucking massive. But that's because they know how to use those HM2 pedals and that, you know, fucking sick. Because some bands, they have it, and it's like, come on. Like, I know you got that riff from Entomb Blues. Like, just... Hey. But I like stuff when it's different like this. Like, it might sound familiar, but trust me, this is different. I guess this ain't your typical HM2 worship. Although it might sound it. These vocals... It's a lot like yeah. Yeah, there's 
vocals are awesome. What is that? Metal punky, like fucking hellhammer kind of fucking sick stuff here on Gravehammer's Voices from the Grave cassette on Necrolatry Records from Malaysia. This is some good shit. Like I was saying, definitely not your stock HM2 sweet death worshipping band like there's definitely a lot of other elements at work here from first wave black metal to metal punk this is something cool definitely check out grave hammer voices from the grave cool shit it's not the most original but it's fucking cool and i don't know i definitely enjoy this little ep slash demo and the cover art here, which I think is really badass, they also did the layout design. It's a Necro Eye from the UK, I think is what it says. But I like that moldering fucking Grim Reaper guy. And the layout is just super nice and simple. But um, yeah. I dig me some Grave Hammer. From Malaysia, Voices from the Grave on Necrolatry Records. And as I said, the t-shirt I am wearing right now, you can buy right now as well. This thing's super nice, printed at Inferno in uh, New Orleans. Like, so fucking sick, like, with the detail and stuff. If you've ever seen the street... Uh, if you've ever seen the film Street Trash, that's what this is inspired by. It's partially um, Ryan Haley art and partially Rusted Winds. Like, this was like a sketch. And then Lucas did his thing to it and made it kind of into his own. And then... I kind of just walked him through how I wanted, you know, Womb to be. I sent him photos from the movie. And if you've never seen Street Trash, like, that's, you know, kind of where it came from. But we just wanted the accursed part to look as fucking evil as possible. And I think mission accomplished. And for $15, you get a t-shirt and you get the limited as fuck promo cd you might have said you might say i already got a t-shirt well <laughs> help us pay for the full length by getting the other color that would be badass i actually wish i could have two colors but could only have one that's just the way things are but when it comes to grave hammer you got some hm2 infused death metal that doesn't sound like old gate creeper this is really, really good stuff for when it comes to the mighty HM2 pedal. Its usage is, you know, definitely 
to where it sounds very utterly Swedish, but still, I really like the usage of non-stereotypical vocals that you would associate with a band that sounds like that. Like, normally you would have a, a vocalist that sounds like John Tardy, which is weird because you would think you would get a vocalist that sounds like Swedish, but no, it's kind of the opposite. Normally you get that kind of like John Tardy Ow! type vocals, but with Gravehammer, I really like that kind of metal punk first wave of black metal-ish vocal delivery. It's fucking what makes Voices from the Grave stand out. So check out Gravehammer from Malaysia and enjoy. And as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Again, if you want to pick up a t-shirt, do it. You're helping us out and... You're actually helping Vital Vinyl vlog out big time, but as always, thanks for watching. You fucking rule again. Hey.